If you know nothing about pivot tables or very little, you found the right video. Even if you thought you had an elephant memory and you want to refresh it, I'm gonna try in 10 minutes to teach you the basics about pivot tables. Will I make it? Let me know in the comment section. The clock is ticking. There are three rules that you need to follow if you want to insert a pivot table. Number one, no blank header. Number two, no blank row within your data set. And number three, no grand total, subtotals, etc. So let's remove this. Click inside, Control A. You select your data, insert pivot table. Okay, okay, I'm stopping because this car is scaring me off. What's the problem here? You can see row 243. Now, if I add a data point below later on, it's not gonna get included in your pivot table, so you're gonna have a big problem when you are presenting. You will have to manually every time change this range. Now, there are two solutions for this. Option one, you just select the columns and that's about it. But if you have data below this table, it could be an issue. Option two, which is what I prefer, you just go cancel and insert an Excel table. You can see Ctrl T, I'm just gonna click here and you're gonna have, where is your data? This time I'm gonna take this data, press OK because my table has headers and you can think about this Excel table as a database. So for example, if you add something here, you can see it automatically expands. Let's do Ctrl Z and remove this data point and go up. If you don't like this design because you are fashionistas, you just go to table design and you can select something else. For example, you can select this. Now I'm gonna change the name of the table here to sales, press enter. There we go. Just click inside it, insert, pivot table. And here we're gonna select new worksheet. You can do existing worksheet. So click here, click on the arrow and specify the location. In this case, I'm just gonna do new worksheet. Press OK. There we go. This is your pivot table and you have the fields here. If I click by mistake here and I panic, I cannot find the fields. Don't worry, right click, show fields list. There we go. I think that's about it. We can close the lesson. No, I'm joking actually. If you are having fun, you can listen to the person below. So we start. I'm gonna take the total sales USD. It's a drag and drop game. Nothing fancy. I put it here. I get the sum, perfect. I want the city, I put it for example in the row and the category in the columns. So there we go. For Boston bars, the sum of the sales is 3000 and change. You can go tell your boss it took you five hours to do this and take the day off on the beach today. That could work also. Now, if your boss comes back and say, ah, I need to see the count. No problem, click here, value field settings and you have a lot of options, count, average, max, etc. I'm just gonna keep the sum for now and we're gonna move to some cosmetics. So for cosmetics, it's also very simple. You just click on your pivot table, design, and you can select one, even make your own design. Now, if you like this disgusting green, you can use it, but I'm gonna go for something a bit more traditional, maybe this one, and then you can also remove the grid lines. So you can do view, grid lines. It looks a bit more sophisticated. Now your annoying boss is back and the boss wants to be able to filter this. Let's go and try to do it. We click on the table and instead of having the categories here, I'm gonna put them in filters. You can see now you have a filter. Click here, select multiple items and you select what you want. You can select one, for example, or more. Click on bars and now this will update only for bars. So notice if I click on all, this 3000 becomes 13000. Now comes the moment that you all want to see, which is adding data. So we're going to add one more data point at the bottom. Let's just take this. This is for crackers and I'm just going to put here 10,000 so we can see the difference. So we have it in Boston. Let's see what happens. This is Boston. You can see that to our disappointment, nothing got updated. Why? 
because you have to do it manually. You right click and you do refresh, you will see that 10,000 got added to Boston. So far, I just use one field everywhere, but you can have two. So for example, I can move this filter to the row and see what happens. Now you have Boston and you have each category. You can group and group. This is really cool. And now if you have not the users, you don't want to have this feature. You can turn it off. Go back to pivot table analyze and here you have plus minus buttons. They disappear. You won't have this problem again. So you won't have naughty users that are playing with your table. Another thing that I want to do as cosmetics, because you know I'm a very good makeup artist, is just to remove this. Now, the other thing that also looks IT is this sum of total sales USD. If you try to remove this, you're gonna have an explosion. Why is that? Because Excel doesn't like to have the same name of the field here. What do you do in this case? Not on us Excel, you cannot trick us. Just come here, add a space, for example, it works. And that's about it. You just have to have something different in the name. The next thing I want to show you is this total subtotal changes. So if you have one guy in the team that is a calculator, he or she might have a calculator in his or her brain. You can remove the grand totals or play with them. You just click here and you go to design. You have subtotals. You can say do not show subtotals. You can see that this has disappeared. You can say show all subtotals at the bottom of group. There you go. You can see some subtotals here and you have the same for grand total. So off for rows and columns. For example, if I just click on this, it goes from there. I'm just going to remove all the subtotals for now. So it's easier to see. Let's look at the report layout again, some cosmetics, but I'm telling you when you present your data, cosmetics is everything. So when you open this report layout, you have some options. I prefer the tabular one, but you can also do in compact form. For example, you can do it in outline form. You can see how different it is. If you do tabular, you're going to have it like this. And if you want to have here Boston everywhere because it's easier for your analysis, you can just come and say repeat all item labels. There we go. We have Boston everywhere. Now here you can see I have two decimal places, one decimal places, etc. And you have your consultants. They want everything perfect. So we can change the format. Come here, right click number format and you can change it to something else. For example, you go to custom and you don't want to have two decimal places. You want to have nothing, no decimal places. Click on this zero, press OK. And there we go. This is much more neater and easier to read. If you want to sort your data again, it's easy. I'm just going to make it easier for us a little bit. So let's remove the categories. You can just click on it and they go. I want to know which region has the most sales. Obviously it's Boston and then you have New York, but you can just come here, right click. You have sort largest to smallest. There we go. You see, everything is so simple with pivot tables. Now, two more things to see. The first one is summarizing values. What if your boss calls you in panic? The management wants to know what's the percentage of sales represented by Boston, New York, etc. You don't need to take the calculator out. What you could do is just add another total sales. So I can just add it from here. And instead of keeping it as total sales, right click here show value as you have a lot of options. For example, I can do percentage of grand total and click here. You can see I get 53%, etc. I can also change this to percentage, press enter. There we go. Easy. The last thing I want to show you is the slicer. So pivot table, analyze, insert slicer. And here you can put a slicer on whatever you want. For example, I want to do categories. I click here. I have my slicer. I can change the format, obviously. So if I don't like this and I want this blue, I can do it. I can make it like this. So here I click on multi select and I can select the ones that I want. You see, I'm deselecting, selecting and so on. 
So that's about it. Did I make it? I don't know. I'm gonna see while I'm editing this video.